You're watching News 10 ABC at 9 a.m. Welcome back everyone. Thanks for sticking with us. Christmas less than two weeks away at this point with lots of us planning to travel or maybe meet up with our family members and this comes as flu cases are on the rise here in New York State and really across the country. So joining me live right now is Dr. Chris Parker of the CDC here to give us an update on flu cases and how we can better protect ourselves and our families. Thank you for joining us Dr. Parker. Thank you for having me. So this is very timely for us because just in New York State, we've gone from a minimal level of cases of the flu to a low level of cases. So we've gone up and we're seeing quite a few reactions on a local level as well. What are you seeing throughout the country when it comes to flu cases? We see that flu cases are rising across the country and also that vaccinations are lagging. And so the Ag Council, the American Medical Association and the CDC, we're in the middle of our, uh, our annual get my flu shot campaign to try and encourage everyone to get a flu shot. What do you think is the reason for this lag of people getting that flu shot this year? Well, we know that we're in a season of gathering and there are families that will be gathering. There are gatherings in the, our communities. And so we know as we uh, approach the uh, peak season of flu that it's important to get a flu shot. And so what we're trying to encourage everyone is not too late and that everyone should get their flu shot. Is there anything you can tell us specifically about flu cases in the Northeast as again, we are seeing a rise here in our state, Dr. Parker? Right, we're seeing rises across the nation. We know two regions, the Southeast and the South Central, uh, they are rising faster. Mm -hmm. As far as in your local area, you can reach out to your local health department to get more details on uh, the rising cases. But everyone with few exceptions, six months old and older should get a flu shot. Now, part of your new PSA through the CDC is encouraging more black and Hispanic Americans to get the flu. Why is this an issue that you're targeting? We know in certain racial and ethnic minority communities, uh, the rate of hospitalizations uh, are higher than uh, as compared to their white counterparts. So that uh, we think is due to social determinants of health and social determinants of health are non-medical factors that influence health outcomes, such as lack of transportation, lack of health insurance, inability to take off work. And so it's important that uh, persons in those communities uh, get their vaccination, make sure that they are up to date on their vaccination and that they get their flu shots. Now, Dr. Parker, we have a lot of female viewers, especially during this time period. So I wanna ask about how they can give better advice because we know women primarily take care of a lot of those appointment tasks and booking those appointments for doctors. How can they help encourage, especially some of their more vulnerable family members to get that flu shot? I think the way to help encourage, I can tell you myself that I've had my flu shot. I'm up to date on all of my vaccinations, and I encourage uh, members of my family by letting them know it's not just about me or just about one person, but it's so that the family can gather safely. And so I would say that uh, encourage them because we have our seniors, people 65 years and old, we know that they bear the burden of flu. Uh, what we've seen in past flu seasons, even though uh, the severity of the flu varies from season to season, but what we've seen in past flu season is that 70 to 85 percent of the deaths that they've occurred in uh, persons 65 years and older. We know in our youth uh, between the ages of six months and five years that the flu is more serious than the common cold. While it's important for everyone six months of age and older to get their flu shots, uh, we understand that we can help protect ourselves but also protect other family members. What's your message for people as we go into the holiday gathering season where a lot of people are going to be getting together with those family members of all different ages? The message would be to make sure you're protected and that your entire family is protected and that your community is protected. And the best way to do that is to get your flu shot. We know the shot is safe. We know the shot is effective. Last flu season, we saw that 50% of the people who got a flu shot had uh, uh, reduced risk for getting the flu. And of those who got the flu, there was a 50% risk and reduction of being hospitalized. Thank you so much for providing all this important information, Dr. Parker. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Happy holidays. It's 928 right Thank now. You. We're going to be back with more news, everyone.